Ooh, seven three seven. Welcome to Dex Says, the part of the show where I help you out there with all your problems, no matter how big. But do remember, do bear in mind that I'm not a, I'm not a top quality counsellor, just a top quality TV presenter. <laughs> Can we have some of your faxes and emails, please? Thanks, Jimmy. Okay, first one here is from uh, Ewan Brown in Edinburgh. He says, Dear Dick, next week I have to go into hospital. No, that should be the second one. Uh, the first one should say from Sean Aldridge in London. He says, Dear Dick, I really fancy my games teacher. Unfortunately, she's 53 years old and happily married. What should I do? Well, Sean, that's a, that's a good question there. I think, I think you should probably set your sights on somebody closer to your own age. I mean, I'm thinking about you, you, your French teacher, for example. She's only 37. Get stuck in there, son. Get stuck in there. <laughs> this one's from Ewan Brown in Edinburgh. Oh, look, this is a surprise. It says, Dear Deck, next week I have to go in the hospital and have my tonsils out. I'm really scared. What should I do? Well, Ewan, thanks very much for your letter. You know, going in the hospital, it is a very scary thing, but you really have to... You've just got to be brave. You know, I, I went in the hospital one. I wasn't scared. I was brave. In fact, I was so brave that the doctors and nurses asked me to help them with the operation and I was under a full anaesthetic. That's how brave I was. I remember one time in particular, Listen, I went into the hospital. I you think he was Braveheart and Captain Marvel rolled into one? When we all know he's the biggest super sissy in the world. Dex so scared of needles, he threw away his own record player. He's so frightened of hospitals, he was born with a cushion in front of his eyes screaming, no! I remember when he had to go to hospital and what happened was a very different story. Oh, 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 the pin, the pin, oh, get away with it, Dr. The pin, the pin, Dr. Kendrick. Okay, now come on, it's only a thermometer. Yeah, I know it is, but you know I can stick it. Yes, I do, but for now it'll be fine in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> stick it in, that's a good boy. Mm. Now then, does it hurt when I do this? Mm-mm-mm. How about this? Mm-mm-mm. And how about this? Mm. Now then, let's see. Mm. Yes, you're absolutely fine. Ah, and look how me fine, sir. I'm a very ill little boy. I've got tummy aches and everything. Oh, no, oh, I'm right. really ill. Don't let me die, Doc. Okay, okay. Don't look, let me all die. All right, let's open you up, shall we? No, I don't think you have to open us up, though. I think I think that'll be all right by half past three. Half past three, you yeah, say? Yeah, half past mm. three. That's for me maths test. <laughs> I mean, that's when I usually start to feel better. <laughs> Declan, you must realise that there are seriously ill people who need to use this bed. See? Oh, well, they're not. They're not. They're not ill. They're not ill. They're in my maths class. They're not ill. They're just a bunch of fakers. Oh, for goodness sake, Declan. Now then, I have a visitor to see you. Shall oh. I show them in? Yes, please. It'll be me mum. She'll have loads of toffee bonbons and grapes and more toffee bonbons. Oh, no! Now, Mrs. S. Eccles, <laughs> the maths teacher. I brought the rest of the class so we can do the test here. Oh, no, Mrs. Eccles. Oh, well, Doctor, I think I'm better. I'll go home now. Oh, no, 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 no. I think we'll uh, take your temperature one more time. No, you don't put that thing back in my mouth. Well, in that case, we'll do it the old-fashioned method. Roll over. What? <laughs> <laughs> Ha-ha! <laughs> I bet that the moment I wiped the smile off his face. I wonder if it's still there. It would explain why he sits so funny. Anyway, flipping Declan, always going on about how brave he was. If only they knew the truth. If only. And there was, there was, of course, the other time when all the lights went out in the house. And I went down to the cellar on my own. On my own, this was, no lights. On my own, and I wasn't even scared. I got the cans, and there was a ghost tapping us on the shoulder. I wasn't scared. So, <laughs> Sorry, sorry, just went off of me, and. And, of course, you know, you know the time that you all know the story when I was turned away from the army for being too courageous, don't you? <laughs> no, pa- pa- perhaps you don't. Anyway, please do keep your problems coming into me here at the usual address here at Dexter's. I will do my best to uh, sort them out for you. But, uh, but for now, here's what else is coming up on the rest of today's show. <laughs> later on CD UK, but first here's what's coming up on today's SMTV Live. Hit it! 
The cast from the bill will be helping us with our inquiries. They have the right to remain silent, but we've pointed out that's not going to make very entertaining television. Will beating a small child in a game of general knowledge actually give Ant the self-respect he badly needs? That's the real gamble in Challenge Ant. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Witch a witch. Not Sabrina the Teenage Witch. She's back for another episode. From Reach for the Moon, Jonathan Kerrigan will be with us all morning and TV's favourite mum, Linda Bellingham. It's the only thing that separates us from the apes. Chums is here with another episode. I think that's Thumbs, Cat. Oh, Caprice reveals all in the SMTV strip search. And there's a world far away full of fat cats, sick chicks and hairy fairies. We like to call it Wonky Donkey. We'll be taking a look at Snap's new fantastic video. And with Macy Gray, Bewitched and Artful Dodger, CDK will be more fun than putting a slug in your hunky and pretending you've just sneezed. We all do it. See you after the break. Uh, welcome back. Uh, I'll tell you what, number one, I was cruising over the heath the other day. Oh, really? How many feet? <laughs> two, last time I looked. Still two. No, no, no. How many feet above sea level were you? Oh, right, I see. Three thousand and four toes. Feet. Yes, yes. And uh, guess who I bumped into up there in the sky? Who? Old Bunty Fuggles, remember oh, him? Old Bunty Fuggles! Uh, old Bunters! Mm. I was old Bunters! Oh, they were! Uh, in fact, no, no, he wasn't doing so good. No, in fact, he was dead. <laughs> what? Yes, yes, I bumped him within the sky, you see, knocked him clean down. Uh, you should look where you're going, old boy. Uh, I never look where I'm going. No, that'll explain the stain on your trousers. Sir, mm. sir, 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 a message from Wing Commander. They said we're back on and we have to play with the tune. <laughs> get out, get out. Get out. Don't talk. Splendid, dash fine chap, that single person, oh, dearie. Fantastic pilot. Yes, I tell you why he's such a fine pilot. Why is that number two? I saw him getting dressed on the other day. Mm. Don't look at me. He's got inbuilt airbags. <laughs> I think it's time we played Splatoon. <laughs> Ah, earlier on we asked you which of the following should policemen always be carrying, and of course the answer is... Handbags! Oh, sorry, no, handcuffs! <laughs> handcuffs! That's that's sorry! It. Sorry, that's just the ones that I knew. <laughs> we got a caller who knew that. Stacey Cooper from Heswall. Heswall? <laughs> Good morning, Stacey. Good morning! Is that Heswall? Yeah. Hey, brilliant. Well done, number two. I'm playing <laughs> for you this morning. We've got Rene Zaga in his PC class. <laughs> Do you think you can handle a gun? I'm going to try. Okay, pop your goggles on there right. and your earmuffs and Deck, I'll tell you how to play. 45 seconds on the clock. You've got to score as it's many me. points as you can. Each paint bag is worth 100 points. Whoever scores the most points at the end of today wins a trip to Iceland. And it's not the freezer store. Yeah, there you are. Okay, okay, it's easy. Up, down, left, right, stop and splat. 45 seconds. Good luck to the pair of you. Shocks away! Away! Up! Up! Right! Pity, pity, pity. <laughs> I'm afraid, Vanny, we only got 100 points on that one. 100. 100 points, Stacey, I'm afraid. Uh, but stay tuned, you never know what's going to happen a little bit later on. Oh, yes, oh, yes, thanks, oh. Ren. Stay tuned for more Splatoon a little bit later. But now it's over to that uh, kitty cat. Meow. Thank you, sir, sir. Yes, indeed. All morning, we're joined by the cast of the bill. <laughs> Come oh, on. Oh, am I in the wrong sketch? I think you might be. Sorry, sorry, I, I'm only contracted to do some food. So funny, they said to me, how do we dance? I said, freestyle. No problem at all, is it? Pretty easy. Now, take a look at the price you can win this morning from whoever pays the bill. So, who, who are you then? I, I'm number one, but Sir? now it's time for a challenge ad presented by my old mate, Deck. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, 
Ant you number one. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Challenge Ant. You know the rules by now. Ten simple questions, a prize at stake. On every question, I have the opportunity to gamble for a killer prize. That's all I'm going to tell you this week. Let's bring them on. Mr. Ant with Portland. <laughs> Shut up, you're your villain. <laughs> and welcome back to Challenge Ant. How are you feeling? All right. I'm Confident. Mm -hmm. You're only two behind now in the series. Can you pull one back today? Yes. Let's see then. Let's bring on the contender who's going to contend him. It's Jamie Carroll from Rotherham. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Jamie's the man. Jamie's the man. Welcome to Challenge Ant, Jamie. Thank you for my set of questions. How are you feeling? All right, thanks. Yeah, you feeling confident? Yeah. Good stuff, yeah. The, the, the kids are ahead, 12 10 in the series. You could make it unlucky 13 today, unlucky for Ant. It could be. Cheer up. Let's explain the rules, okay? <laughs> 10 questions. For every question that Ant gets wrong, you get a CD. Now, at the end of your 10 questions, you can decide whether you want to gamble everything you've won so far on today's killer question, which will win you this star prize. <laughs> it's our state of the art hi fi system. That could be yours, Jimmy. But I must remind you if you decide to gamble and Ant gets your killer question right, then you'll go home with nothing. And we really do mean nah. nothing. Okay, do you understand the rules? Yep. Prepare to go for it? Yep. And would you whip out the old earpiece, please? So All right. No cheating, there and let's play today's edition of Challenge Ant. <laughs> okay, question number one is for the uh, number 10 city, ABBA, ABBA Gold. Jamie, over to you. Which country won the first <coughs> football World Cup? Uruguay. Correct! <laughs> Ant. Uh, question number two. Where is it here, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> question, question two for... Oh, I've lost question two. Where's question two? Oh, question two. Oh, there it is. CD9 is uh, Fat Boy Slim. Yeah. You've come a long way, baby. All the way from Rotherham. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, Jimmy. Name all of A1. Um, Mark, Christian, Ben... Um, that's right. No. Oh. You missed out Paul. Paul. Oh. Paul, you missed Paul. Oh. Paul will be gutted and he'll see you next time he's on the show. Question three is for CD8, the stereophonics. Word gets around. Which character in Coronation Street is played by Johnny Briggs? Oh, um, Diggy Man, who runs the textiles factory. Oh. The fact that his wife works there at the moment. Mike he's Baldwin. Oh, hey, that's it, Mike Baldwin. <laughs> it was on the tip of my tongue. Mike Baldwin, Johnny Briggs. <laughs> <laughs> Question four is for series seven. Moby, play. Good album. <laughs> Who is the lead singer of Aerosmith? Steven Tyler. Two all. Correct, two all. Question five for series six. S Club seven. S Club, hit me one more time, baby. <laughs> what? What's Madonna's baby called? Um, Lourdes. Oh, correct! And goes into the lead. 3-2. Question number six is for Britney Spears. Baby, one more time. <laughs> Another new South Park computer game came out this week. What is it? Did it now? <laughs> Nobody informed me. <laughs> what is it? South Park Rally. Oh, right. That South sounds Park good, that. Question number seven for the number four CD, Macy Gray, on how life is. In the Wayne's World films, who is Wayne's best friend? Go. Four, three. Come on, lad. Come on, lad. Challenge, lad. Question eight. Question eight is for CD three. Should I twin? Come on over. <laughs> What's the name of William Orbit's album? Uh, pieces from a modern world. Style. This is style, a world, style. world, world, style. No, no. Really Ask me what's on the card, Ant. You know that. Question number nine is for CD2. Travis, the man who? What's the name of the hospital in ER? Hmm. Oh, no. No, I don't watch ER. No, no. Sorry. Five, four. No, I'm doing so well. Five, four. And the final question. This is to bring it even. Question ten is for number one CD, Gabrielle. Rise. <laughs> Jimmy. Who will play in tomorrow's Worthington Cup final? Let's go and Come on, come on, Come on, There it is, 
Five, oh, but you did, you did very well, Jimmy. You've got five CDs there. Give him a big round of applause, everybody. Right. Jimmy Carroll. Yeah. Kenny and his magic questions. <laughs> Jimmy, there's your five CDs. You can take them home, you can have them. They're yours, and they're five good CDs, apart from Schneider Twin, but they're yours. <laughs> you can have them, and you can take them with you. They're yours, you can have them. Or you can decide to gamble them for the other five and the star prize. But I must remind you again, if you gamble and then it gets the question right, you go home with nothing, not even Schneider Twin. <laughs> what do you think you should do, studio? <laughs> Jamie, they all say gamble, but it's your decision what you're going to do. I'm going to gamble. He's going to gamble! <laughs> You join us at a very tense moment here in the studio. It was five old. Jamie has decided to throw caution into the wind and uh, gamble for the state of the art hi-fi and the other five questions. Good luck, Jamie. I hope that was the right thing to do. This to bring up the 13 wins for the kids, but and over to you now. And you know, this to pull it back to 11, 12. You know, feeling good? Are you? Mm -hmm. You feeling confident? Mm -hmm. Good, Jamie. Ooh, dear me. Yeah. Jamie's dad's in the studio. Right. <laughs> here we are then. Best of luck to the pair of you. Can we have today's killer question, please? What is Will Smith's proper first name? Got it Let's give a big hand, Jimmy Carroll, everybody! Do you think you could challenge Ant? Then come and have a go if you think you're smart enough. Right to, I'm not scared of that, Geordie gas bag. Challenge Ant, SMTV Live, PO Box 22122, London SE1, 9GL. Come and wipe that smirk up his face. Well, there you go. Will Smith's real first name is, of course, Willard. Just like the dog out of his tenders. <laughs> <laughs> Commiserations to Ant for congratulations oh, to Jamie Carroll who goes back to Robin with 10 cities <laughs> and the state of the art high five. Time now though for our first visit of the week to Sabrina the Teenage Witch! <laughs> Tasha's done upside down. No, I think it is over. Well I think it's on wrong. <laughs> anyway, I was flying over London the other day. Mm -hmm. Ah, it was a wonderful sight. Yeah. The bustle of the inner city, city, then the calm and the serenity of the outskirts. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything better than a city with outskirts. Oh, oh yes, there is. What then? Ladies with outskirts. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Anyone fancy give me a splatoon? Mm -hmm. We asked you which of the following policemen should or what was the what, what should policemen always carry? And you answered mm. handcuffs. Yeah, there you are, and you would be right if you said that. As right as Maria Mulvani from Rugby. Good morning, Maria. Hello. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Oh, good stuff. I'm playing with you this morning. Carl Collins is DC Clay! <laughs> I'll do my best for you. Thank you very much. Okay, pop your goggles on there and your little earmuffs. Is, is my hair messed up? No, it's, no, it's fine. I think it's fine. It's beautiful. Good. Okay, I think we all know how to play by now. Yeah. 45 seconds on the clock. Up, down, left, right, stop and splat. Okay. Good luck to the pair of you. Jocks away! Okay, up, 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 flat. Um, right, right, stop, up, 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 flat. Up. Fantastic trip to Iceland! Congratulations! 
Yeah. Well done. Well, well, now you're not going. You have to stay here, <laughs> unfortunately. But congratulations. Now then, all sorts of jakes, japes, and jokes coming your way in chums, longy donkey, and a valley lot more. Synchronized watches. See you lot after the break. Uh, <laughs> SMTV Live, and please give a very big hand for Jonathan Kerrigan and Linda Bellingham. Woo! You can applaud each other. Oh. How are you this morning? Very well, thank you. Now, shoot for the moon. Yep. Um, how is it different to all the other stuff that you've done? Because you were in Casualty before. Yep. And you, you were in um, The Faith. In the future. In the future, yep. We, so might, we, could, we could just point out it's Reach for the Moon. Reach for, oh, sorry. What did you just <laughs> say? Shoot for the moon. <laughs> Bless That's me. all right. It was on last night. Bless, good me. Bless me. Um, <laughs> How is it different? Um, um, uh, it's very different. It's different for me anyway, because I'm used to be playing a nurse all the time. Yeah. And, and a doctor in previous scenes. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, no, Ken, yes. Because it's meant to be quite an up... <laughs> Drum. Yeah, it's very warm and it's very upbeat and uh, you know, very happy. Uh, yeah. Casually, I'm used to people coming in and dying all the time on this. So there's, <laughs> That's a nice, a bit there's a good difference there. And yeah. I get to kiss lots of women in this. So. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm happy. And I get to look yeah. disapproving. <laughs> Mind you, we have quite a lot of people dying every morning after being up all night in the pub. Oh, yeah. right, I see. <laughs> oh, really? Because, <laughs> well, Linda, you're, you're kind of TV's most famous mum, aren't you? Yeah. You've been Julia Sawala's mum. I know. And, uh, <laughs> the the Oxo mum. Uh, of course, yeah. for years. Yes. And now Jonathan's mum. Yeah. I don't want to be a mummy anymore. What's it like to be, to be TV's most famous mum? Um, it's all right. <laughs> you never do, do you ever get sick of being it's a mum? It's very glamorous mum as well, yeah, right? I do get a bit sick of it. No, actually, I, I do get sick of it. And then the other day, a taxi driver picked me up. And you know how they are. And you wait for them to go on and on and on. And as I got out, he just went, I wouldn't mind if you were my mum. Oh, that's lovely. That's nice. That's really nice. That's We've right. got a clip of uh, Rich for the Moon. Should we have a look at it? Yes, oh, here it is. Let's have a look. No, no. It looks swampy. Look, I've been out and bought canary yellow cushions and you're putting up algae green. Did Miss Marchand sanction this? Just came to see. No, no, no. What is the point of them helping if they can't even get the colour right? Well, don't be too hard on them, Penny. After all, it's not as if you ever even used this room. Rush it down. Ah, it's lovely to have your own ideas, but not when they conflict with mine. I'm bringing in fresh paint in the morning. Rush it down! Mm. Ooh. 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 Yeah, brilliant stuff. Well, you're going to hang around with us all morning, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, Stay yes. and have a laugh for a little bit longer. Brilliant stuff. And right now, it's time for Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Woo! Jean? I never liked the name Jean. I remember. No one told you come on Charms oh, and gets done by his oh girlfriend Caprice God. for Richard How and Five. so stupid? Oh, love, you've come oh. back. What, what, what? My phone. I love this phone. Bye. Howell and Cope, is this the end of Chums or just the beginning of another episode? Find out now as we begin another episode of Chums. Chums is filmed in front <laughs> of livestock. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it, that's it. That's it. Enough tears now. I've shed enough tears over the last week. Oh, I'm finished. I'm finished. I've decided I'm going to win my girlfriend Caprice back. I'm going to change into a man she cannot resist. That's it, that's what I'll do. You mean, you mean a man with heart. A man with compassion. A man who's not afraid to cry a tear when a newborn bonny rabbit hops its first hop. You mean a man like me. No, I mean a man with pots of cash. She left me for rich because rich is rich and I'm not. So how, how are you going to get pots of cash? By wearing these. Mmm. I've always said you've got nice legs. I'm not going to wear them on my legs, am I? That would be stupid, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, stupid, absolutely stupid. No, I'm going to wear them on my head. Right. Because that's a perfectly normal thing to do, isn't it? If you're that type of chap. Or if you're a bank robber. Bank robber? Right. You're not going to rob a bank. You can't, you can't rob a bank. They put you in prison. You know what they do to pretty boys in prison? <laughs> in fact, yeah, you'd be all right, actually. Yeah. Dead, dead. I'm not going to get caught anywhere, am I? 
because you're going to be me alibi. All you do is tell everybody I was here with you the whole time. <laughs> Got it? Got it. Good. Do I have to wear ladies' tights? <laughs> no. Hey, just say I was wearing ladies' tights. Would I have to take them off? No. OK, I'll do it. Right, OK, then. Now, remember, I was here with you the, the whole time. time. Got it? Got it. Right. I'm off to do some robbing. Bye-bye. Declan, where's Han? Um, he's here, Kat. He's been here the whole time. The whole time. <laughs> Eating on a big bag of broken biscuits. Say hello to Kat, Aunt. Hello, Kat. Hello, hello, Dad. Hello, Aunt. Declan, he isn't there. No, he is. He is, Kat. Say hello to Kat, Aunt. Hello, Kat. Hello, Dad. Hello, Aunt. Well, you know what? That's an awful shame because uh, if he wasn't there, mm -hmm. then we'd be all alone in the flat. Mm. You're right, actually, he's, uh, he's going to rob a bank. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent stuff. Now, no one can interrupt us. They'd have to break down that door to stop us from kissing to Dad. Uh, Come on, do your speech. Me and Kat, all alone in the flat. I feel as though today's the day. I think I might be kissing her. Please! What will happen to Deck and Cat? What do the police well, want? Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Stop it's that. just, it's not a freeze frame, it's just police. They're acting. Freeze, the, it's freeze, police. All right, all right, sorry. Get it Cut, right. Yeah. Carry on. Oh, thank you. Thanks. What would you want? We've come to arrest you, you pair of one legged 70 year olds. Uh, no, I think you want the flat next door, Mr. and Mrs. Old. Hopper. 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 <laughs> Hopper's the way. Oh, well. Wow. Hopper's the way. Oh, so we'll be off then. <laughs> what? 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 Sorry. Is that all you were going to say? Sorry. You, you know, you've just, you've just cost me a big fat snog with our lass and all you'd say is, oh, sorry, I'm not having it. I'm not taking it. Get behind this sort of while I pull right. the knife out of you. Right. 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 No! He fell down the stairs, can't be done. I'm sure all that the box used to be smaller than this. Ant. Well, have, have we a giant one with or something? No, Ant. Ant. The police are here. What? Ah. Oh. Uh -huh. Um, Well, I let me skateboard on a, a, a traffic meter, so our best goal be, be out of here. Um, Anthony McPaul, and you do not have to say anything, but anything you do say may be taken down. Deck trousers! Hey, get off, you kicking my Come on, Mr. McPartlin, you're coming with us. No, no, look, 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 no, 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 I, no, I didn't do anything. I didn't. I was going to rob a bank, but then I didn't because on the way there I saw something uh, that taught me <laughs> crime is not the answer. <laughs> so what were you looking at then? This crossword, they're your six letters, most important city in UK. Now, you're right, crime isn't the answer. Mm. Oh, what is the answer? Well, it's Newcastle upon Tyne, but you'll have to write it pretty small along there. Oh, what's in the bag? The, the bag. Um, uh, ladies' tights. I, I, I love them. Conk and... <laughs> <laughs> right, well, uh, sorry to have bothered you. That's fine. Right, no, bye, bye, right, Take right. it easy. Bye, bye. Look to right. the kids. Okay. Yeah. Hey, don't leave it so long next time. Oh, and thank goodness she didn't rob that bag, yeah, huh? Oh, yeah, uh, you're right. Yeah, who wants some free money? Whoa! Oh. 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 So you did rob a bank? No, of course I didn't. There was a bank error in my favour. What? What, what do you mean? What kind of bank error? Somebody left the safe door open. Oh, I'm oh, arrest! You are under arrest, mate. Oh, oh no! Will Ant be put in prison for hundreds of years? Will they get to keep the money? Does Deck wear socks over his tights? Mind your own business, you cheeky little monkey. Find out next week on Chums. <laughs> Capri, she chose me in the end. Did you not? No, she chose me. She chose me in the end. Me. It was me. No, it was me. 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 Who fancies pain? Wonky donkey! <laughs> it was me. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Oh, yeah.
Yes, it was me. It's time once again for Walkie Talkie. It was me. Uh, early on, we asked you, when Madonna's new single is called what? And of course, the answer is American Pie. Loads of you knew that. We've had loads of you on the line. How did he play? I'll tell you, it was me. We have a donkey here with uh, a leg missing. It got all wonky. He's a wonky donkey, look. You have to tell us what the animal is, what's up with it, what condition is it in, but it has to rhyme. It was me. Okay, we've, uh, we, each of you will have 10 seconds. We'll have five callers on the line. Nobody gets it in their 10 seconds. It'll be a rock and roll rock and over. Roll over. Till next week, it was me. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Let's take a look at this week's Wonky Donkey. Just a quick look. There, there it is. She is, it was take me. Take a good look. Let's okay. go to line one, Tanya Norgan. Good morning, Tanya. Morning. Morning from Milton Keynes. You've got 10 seconds. What is it? Um, buddy, something buddy. Um, no, nope, nah, nah. nah. Oh, um... Pretty sheep. What? <laughs> nah. Lamb. Um. Nah. Oh, just out of time. See how he's taking it easy on you this week. He's cooled down a little. He's only caller one. Right. <laughs> Jason Hodgson from Glasgow. Good morning, Jason. Hello. Hello, mate. Did you know she chose me? All right, you got ten seconds. What's that? Blonde bunny. What? Nah. Blonde bunny. Nah. Nah. What is it? Nah. What is Come it? On. No! <laughs> Bunnies don't go bad! Line three, Emma Jermaine. Bunnies go... Emma Jermaine from Essex. Good morning, Emma. Hello. All right, ten seconds. What's that? Um, uh, sheep. Um, uh, 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 sheep. Baby sheep. Lamb. Yes. Pretty yes. lamb. No. Um, uh, oh, I don't know. Um, come on. No! Oh! It's a lamb, and it's looking lovely. Line four, Patrick Kenny from Enfield. Good morning, Patrick. Hello. Hello, my How man. are you? All right, ten seconds. What's that? Uh, sleepy sheep. It's what? a lamb! Uh, lazy lamb. Come on, keep guessing. Um, Come on, hit me. Hit me again. Uh, hit me again. Nah, he didn't have the foggiest. All right, line five, <laughs> Sophie Baker from Cardiff. Come on, Sophie. Hello. 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 Hi. Last caller this week. Zip it, zip it, that was me, that's what you're going to ask, it was me. All right, ten seconds, what's that? A clam lamb. Yeah! Oh, yes! Yes! Look, it's a lamb, and it's just glamorous. Well done, Sophie. Thank you. Get, you get to meet and greet the wrestlers and everything and go on that fantastic prize. Well done. Thank you. You're Thank more you. than welcome. Thank you for calling, thank you for getting it right. Uh, right now, though, here's Steps with a new single, Deeper Shade of Blue. Yeah, I'm a deeper shade. There you go, the fantastic step there. This is very different in that video. I've got the ring to win for winner. Uh, it's the winner of the Mel C bike, and it's Victoria Wood from Edinburgh. So congratulations to her. Well, then, just time to thank all of our guests this morning. Thanks a lot to Jonathan Kerrigan, Linda Bellingham, the cast of The Bill, the cheerleaders, Precious, Everybody that's come on the show, it's been a great show. The Bill, Tuesday, Thursday, ITV. Yes, indeed. Just from Miss Music. Good morning, audience. How are you? Morning. We'll see you after the break for CD UK. Don't go away. <laughs> On today's show, the Backstreet Boys live in concert. 